Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jake with No-Till Kings here. We're going to be doing a video today on PPFD and we're going to be talking about how light intensity affects the growth of the plant. So when we're talking about PPFD, a lot of people are wondering what is PPFD? What it stands for is it stands for Photosynthetic Photon Flux Density. And that measurement is measured in the units of micromoles per meter squared per second. Now the meter that we're using, which is an Apogee meter, it's a, it's a nice light meter, it's measuring the photosynthetic photons coming off of the light and it's measuring the density of that amount of light that we are measuring at canopy level. PPFD specifically measures the amount of light coming off of these grow lights and it measures that in the units of micromoles per meter squared per second. That's the little U MOL that you see on a light meter. So right now we're in uh, one of our flower rooms. We're a couple weeks into flower right now, um, but we're going to be walking through each different stage of the growth cycle and what the PPFD should be when we're in those different stages of growth. What we're doing is we are measuring the amount of light that's coming out. Now for the vegetative stage and early seedlings, that PPFD number should be anywhere from 200 to 400 when you've got seedlings up through small vegging plants. When we have taller vegging plants and mother plants, we're going to be at around 300 to 600 micromoles per meter squared per second, which is the unit measurement of PPFD. When we're going to be in flowering, we're going to be anywhere from, you know, 700 to 1000 micromoles per meter squared per second. And so that number is the PPFD reading of each specific stage of growth. This measurement is critical so that we know the plants are getting enough light so they can actually grow and they can photosynthesize correctly. If we don't have enough light, we're going to be hindering our yield. And if we have too much light, we're going to be stressing out the plants. So that is why PPFD is such an important measurement. And we actually try to take measurements every week so we can see if our lights are uh, having any performance issues. The lights that we have switched our facility over to uh, are the Lux 645 watt XR model and uh, they've been awesome. We run them at 277 volts. They've been really solid. It's definitely that they produce a lot less heat than your traditional HPS light. The nice thing about the meter that we use to check the PPFD is we can extend the meter out. You can move the actual photon head so that we are capturing anywhere that we need to. And we really like to read at like the middle section and top section of the canopy to see if there are differences and what's going on if there's hot spots throughout the room we can use that meter to really see <clears throat> where are we lacking in light where might there be too much light and how do we dial it in so that it's pretty even all throughout so one thing too that gets brought up a lot when we're talking about lights is the spectrum of light now when you're measuring ppfd the spectrum is not gonna dramatically affect the ppfd reading now an hps light which is at a spectrum of around 3,000 Kelvin, could read the same PPFD as a 6,000 Kelvin blue metal halide light. Now, it all depends on how close you are to the light source and how close the plants are. Now, LEDs are full spectrum. These run around 3,500 Kelvin, and Kelvin is the unit measurement for the spectrum of light. More red light, which HPS is more red-orange, is going to be a lower, like around a 3,000 Kelvin. That whiter blue light is going to be closer 5 to 6,000 Kelvin. And these full-spectrum LEDs, which have white and red diodes, are right around 3,500 Kelvin, which is a, a nice number for a full-spectrum light. The Apogee meter that we use to test and to read the PPFD is uh, it, it's around $500. It's an expensive meter. And if you're just growing at home, if you got a one or two lights in a tent, you probably don't need it. You can really tell how plants are, are doing by their look and the stress level of the plant. We need it on a commercial scale because this is everything that we do. So all of these numbers are really critical. And that's the reason that we invested in a nicer meter. But if you're just trying you know, to get some basic numbers, there are some less expensive meters out there if that's something that you're looking for. But in general, um, the numbers that we've described in this video give a good baseline for your seedlings and early veg, for your veg to mom plants, as well as flowering plants. It's really just about dialing in your environment as well and understanding you know, how much light can your space take. 